the marsh, it smells like home, it feels like home, it looks like home, it keeps us safe. I love the ecology of the salt marsh because of its complexity and all that it offers and helps to do to support this community. This marsh is near and dear to my heart. Growing up here in South Carolina, the salt marsh meant lots of fun times and memories with family and friends. My name is Sabrina Roberts. I'm standing in a salt marsh located in Galveston, Texas, roughly 10 miles away from Texas A&M University at Galveston. Salt marshes naturally protect the coast by buffering storm surges and reducing wave erosion. They also have commercial importance as they serve as nursery habitats for popular species in the fishing industry. Most of all, I am fascinated by their potential to serve as indicators for global climate change. It provides important habitat for our fish, birds, and other wildlife, and also provides protection from coastal erosion storm surge and flooding. I really value salt marshes for their ecosystem services, especially storm protection, so important here in the southeast. I'm Rachel Hawes from the Coastal Conservation League. South Carolina has nearly 350,000 acres of it. It is essential habitat to nearly 75% of the region's finfish and shellfish species, most of which are commercially and recreationally important. This habitat, in particular, protects the Charleston region from increasing storm impacts. As coastal de development continues, this is going to be increasingly more important. This is Kent Smith with the Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission down here in St. Mark's National Wildlife Refuge. It represents one of the more pristine marsh systems around because it's protected in almost its entire length in the Big Bend, and it accounts for unbelievable productivity in the nearshore waters. Hi, I'm Craig Watson with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, Atlantic Coast Joint Venture. South Carolina has over 400,000 of salt marsh just like this. Where I'm pointing to right behind me and about a quarter mile offshore is Debo Bank, a bird sanctuary for breeding, migrating, and wintering seabirds, waterbirds, and shorebirds. There are 20,000 wimbrels that stage here and come into these marshes daily to forage upon fiddler crabs and other resources. My name is Juliana Smith and I'm the Long Range Planner for Beaufort County's Planning Department. Today I get to work on the front lines with Beaufort County, reinforcing our community's resilience so that communities all throughout the Lowcountry continue to coexist with these incredibly beautiful and beneficial places for many, 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 many years to come. Hi, this is Mike Worley, President and CEO of Georgia Wildlife Federation, where we're just today working on salt marsh legislation. It is a critical component of what we do here in the state. It's a critical component of Georgia, and we have some of the most uh, diverse and most, uh, most protected salt marshes along the eastern seaboard. Hi, my name is Lauren Collinaire. I'm out at Wards Creek today with the North Carolina Coastal Federation here in North Carolina. This is a three acre creek that is part of our larger North River Wetlands Preserve. We were able to complete this project several years ago with the help of volunteers who helped us plant all of this marsh grass and restore this to what it once was. Notice mostly Spartina dominating the salt marsh, the tufts of black mangroves which have been encroaching upon the salt marsh over the last 20 years in some areas dominating that salt marsh. I'm really excited to work with this dynamic group of scientists and managers to help conserve and help the salt marshes adapt. Kim Morganello, I work for Clemson Cooperative Extension as a water resource associate. I'm based in Charleston, South Carolina, and I'm filming for you today here in my kayak. Every, every single time I come out, I see something new, depending on the time of the tide, the time of the year, the time of the day. My name is Julie Binns and I work for the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources and the Ace Basin National Estuarine Research Reserve. I'm so happy to be a part of SASME, the South Atlantic Salt Marsh Initiative, because it is so important that we keep our marshes healthy and protect them into the future. Hi, I'm Liz Fly, the Marine Conservation Director with the Nature Conservancy in South Carolina. 
I love things that are multifunctional, like Swiss Army knives. And the Salt Marsh is the Swiss Army knife of the Southeast. It's a highly productive ecosystem. It's a nursery for important fish and other marine critters. It helps with water quality. It provides a huge amount of recreation and tourism for our state. It's a buffer for flooding and storm surge, and it's a natural playground for my kids. I feel super fortunate to work and play in the Salt Marsh. Get a queen quit. Head upon the body to go to get your nation. But these the island, they call it Sea Islands. And we be Gullah Geechee anointed people. When many come here to play, they don't realize that there's an importance beyond recreation to those of us who stay. We stayed here from the 1500s, 1600s, 1700s, 1800s. Even in the midst of chattel enslavement, numerous wars for the land that these marshes surround. We were rooted. We are the souls of not only the Sea Island sand, but the sea that's all around me, this estuary from which we not only feed our families, but we feed our souls. The water to bring me, the water to take me back. I love to come out and look at the changing seasons, especially in the spring when the rains come and you see the brown spartina turn into a lush green. I love it at low tide when you can smell the muck and you can watch the fiddler crabs run across the landscape. Most importantly, because our water is so clean, we have a tradition of having oyster roasts in the season here. And it's a great opportunity for our community to get together and enjoy what our natural resources can bring to us. These communities and this habitat in particular is unique in the way that it supports communities ecologically, economically, but also spiritually. I'm really happy to be working alongside a group of diverse and passionate folks to help protect and restore this special, unique habitat today and for future generations.